everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a comparison between the small classic flap and the medium classic flap from Chanel so I have them both right here so over here in the gray is the small classic flap and then over here in the caramel brown I have this in the medium size so I think there are three major categories or areas where there are differences between these two bags the first is in the price or the value you for money the second is how do these bags look on your body and then the third part is what do these bags fit so I'm going to go through the differences in these three categories in today's video and hopefully it can help you figure out which of these sizes is better for you so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it okay so I first want to talk about the prices of these two bags first and let's be honest they're really expensive so currently the small size is 8200 US dollars and then the medium size is $600 more at 8800 US dollars so yes they are really expensive especially if you kind of compare it to the next size down which is like the mini rectangular flap that one is like half the price of the medium size um so it's a big difference in price that you're paying for these two bags now is either one of these sizes worth it and the thing is i feel like the classic flap they have a different look than the minis do the minis definitely look a little bit um softer a little bit more casual this is very kind of rigid it's very um proper in a way in that sense i feel like this is you know the price is something you're going to have to be comfortable with if you want the style of bag i don't think it is the best value for money but you know the price is what it is i would still buy these bags at this price if i like the color but i would probably stick to buying these um double flaps in neutral colors and for something that is you know like a little bit more of a fun color a little bit more of a pop of color i would stick to the minis for that so between these two sizes like i mentioned the difference is only 600 dollars in price and you might think like oh well if i'm paying 8200 dollars for the small size i might as well pay another 600 dollars to get the bigger size up because you know like this makes it seem more worth it because you could have paid way less than 8200 and just gotten yourself a mini and to be honest the small is not that much bigger than the mini is so yes you might think like oh the medium is better value for money but $600 honestly still is a lot of money you could buy a lot with that at least you could buy a small leather good like a card holder from Chanel if you're getting something from other designers that don't cost as much as Chanel then you could even do more with that money but if you already own a mini then maybe getting the medium size is the better option because it does give you a little bit more variety in your collection now before I get into the mod shots, I first want to go through the dimensions of these two bags. So starting with the small size, this one is 5.7 inches tall, it's 9 inches wide, and it's 2.3 inches deep. And then for the medium size, this one is 6 inches tall, 9.9 .9 inches wide, and then it's 2.5 inches deep now i would say that when you put the two of them side by side i honestly can't see a difference in the depth of these two bags i mean 2.3 and 2.5 inches is really not big of a difference at all it's really the height as well as the width of these two bags that make a difference into how these two bags look so i would say that when you put the two bags side by side the small size has more of a square shape to it and then the medium size has more of a longer rectangular shape to it i mean both of these bags definitely look like rectangular shaped bags but it's just that the medium size does have more of a longer elongated shape to it than the small does and i do think that that little detail 
does make a slight difference in how these two bags look on your body. It's not a big difference, but as you'll see in the mod shots that I'll show you guys right now, it does make a little bit of a difference. And oh yeah, just for your reference, I am five foot four inches tall and approximately 107 pounds. So this is going to be how these bags look on me. If you're taller, shorter, or whatever, then these bags will look slightly different. But I hope these mod shots are helpful for you guys. So this is how the two bags look like when worn on my shoulder with the straps doubled up. And I measured the strap length on both of these two bags when worn like this. And they're basically the same at around nine and a quarter inches long. This is what the small size looks like from the side. And then this is what the medium size looks like. And personally for me, I actually do prefer the medium size when worn like this because I like how more of the bag sticks out from the front and the back. For shoulder bags, I tend to like bags that are that kind of rectangular shape, so it makes sense why I would like this one more than the small size when worn like this. But when it's worn differently, I actually do prefer the small over the medium, which I'll show you guys next. And this is what the two bags look like when worn on my shoulder with a single strap. So this side is the small, and this side over here is the medium. And the strap length for both of these two bags is approximately 17 and a half inches long. Now when worn like this, I actually do prefer the small size over the medium size because I just feel that the small is a little bit more proportional to the size of my body. I am a little bit more on the petite side, but honestly, this was not something that I noticed until I got the small size. Prior to that, I thought this looked perfectly fine, but it's just that when I have the two side by side, I do notice that this just seems a little bit more suited for my body shape. And finally, this is what the two bags look like when worn crossbody. So this is the small size and this is the medium size. And it kind of works, but honestly, for me, I just find this really uncomfortable. Like, I don't really know where to place my arms because the bags are kind of in the way. So I personally don't ever wear it like this. Um, I tend to find that bags that are the perfect length for over the shoulder wear tend to be too short for crossbody use. And if it's the perfect length for crossbody, then it's too long over my shoulder. So since both of these two bags I find are a great length for over my shoulder, as you can see here, it's just a little bit short to wear crossbody. It kind of works when you're wearing lighter layers, but especially with coats, I really can't get away with doing this, but I wanted to show you guys anyways. There technically are three ways to wear both of these bags but I personally only use two of these. So I'm first going to show you guys what fits in this small classic flap, which I've already packed with all the things that I usually carry with me, plus a little bit more because I'm very used to using mini size bags. So this actually fits a little bit more than I absolutely need. So in here, I do make use of both of these main compartments. This is what it's looking like right now. In the front compartment, I have my phone. And then in this bigger compartment in the back, I have a pair of sunglasses, which this is not something that I absolutely need to have with me at all times. And then over here, I have a mirror. I have a pack of tissues. And then I have a flat card holder. And then over here on the left, I have my car keys house keys, which this is actually a very big set of house keys. If I'm using a pouch for my keys, I actually carry a different set with me. And then I have my hair tie. I have a tool of lotion. And then the last two things in here is a lipstick as well as what is a must have for me, which is a bottle of hand sanitizer. So all of this fits into this bag perfectly fine. And if you want to use um, bigger SLGs, for example, so instead of this flat card holder, you want to use one of these flap style ones. That also fits in here. And if you want to put your keys inside um, like some type of key holder or one of these pouches, for example, that also fits in here. 
but if you switch out those SLGs, then the sunglasses is the one thing that isn't going to fit in here and you're going to have to also arrange things a little bit differently inside the bag. But this is another possible variation for this bag. So I personally think that this actually is a good chunk of capacity for this bag. And here's the medium classic flap packed full. Honestly, I never carried this much with me in my medium classic flaps, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you guys the true capacity of this bag. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Similar to the small classic flap, I have my phone in the front compartment. I have in here a pair of sunglasses, a flap card holder, a pack of tissues, hand sanitizer, of course, and then I have a hair tie, I have a tube of lotion as well as lipstick, and then I have a mirror in here, and then this pouch with my keys. And for example, if you have a lot of reward cards or a lot of credit cards to carry with you, I also wanted to show you guys that this bag does fit both card holders. I personally never use both of these card holders in any of my bags, but I just wanted to show you guys that this does have a little bit more capacity to fit both of these in there. And yeah, this is a great amount of space for a bag that doesn't look that big on your body. So if you do need more space in your bag, but you still don't want to carry anything that is overly bulky, then maybe the medium size is better for you. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if there's any other questions you have regarding the differences between these two bags, definitely leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you guys. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider Consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next so I'll see you very soon. Bye for now! Mm -hmm.